Changing the rotary blades on our rotary cutters can be super intimidating. I mean, it is scary. It's a sharp object, right? So today I'm going to show you how I do it and give you some tips and tricks and advice along the way and how I store them, all that wonderful stuff. I have four rotary cutters that I'm always using. These two are for basic cutting, cutting yardage, that type of thing. This is my mini, which I absolutely love. And I use that for smaller pieces that I need to cut. This one I know is for paper or plastic or anything that's gonna dull my blades. I do use the Ulfa products. They're my favorite. This might've been my very first one. I've since gotten some of these quick change ones. And you can see I have two that have the screws on the back, which can be a little trickier and then I have two that have the quick change. So let's get started on the quick change ones. In this case that I keep all of my stuff in, and again, I've had this probably since I started sewing. It is pretty, I don't know, dirty. I probably should clean this up. It's a, just a pencil case that I got, probably inherited it from one of my kids when they were in school, I'm not even sure but it works great. Inside of this little kit, I have all my rotary blades. I also have this circle cutter. It sits in here and lives in here too. I also have a post-it here telling me the last time that I changed my blades. I try to do it once a month unless I get a nick or something, then I have to change it more often. Right in this box, I have new post-its and I have my Sharpie. Old cases, I mark as used and that's where my used blades go. When they get full enough, like this one is really full, I will tape it up with some painter's tape. Actually, we're gonna do that right now. And this will be discarded. But I wanna make sure nobody gets hurt either. So I'll make sure to tape it up really well. So we're gonna pull these in front. The first thing you do, you snap it down like that. And you can see that the blade and everything popped off. Now you still have to be very careful because this blade is super sharp on the edge. So just use caution. The next thing I do is I go in with a microfiber cloth and I clean this. And this is the one thing I don't like about these quick change ones is you can't clean them as well. You can't get into those grooves. Sometimes to get in there, you have to take like a stiletto or something to get all the gunk out. You can see you just, you can't get into those edges. This doesn't flip forward. I don't know. I feel like it, these don't last as long because of that because I can't really get them clean, but that's probably the only downside to this. Once I get it pretty clean, as clean as I can, I'll wipe it again, and I will take this old blade and usually add it to one of my blade savers if I feel like these blade savers are wearing out, which I do, so I'm gonna do that now. And then right in this little box, I keep the screwdriver for this, so everything's all together. Since we wrapped up the other one, I'm going to just put this in this one. This is an empty case, a new empty case. I also gotta set that down to hurt myself. Pick it up, not by the edge. The edge is what's sharp, but the sides are not. Put it in here, close it up. And with my Sharpie, I'm gonna write used. And it's gonna go right back into this box. Okay, so that blade saver is ready to go with the old blade. I'm gonna set that aside. I forgot to clean this edge, which you wanna do. Just get all that dust out. You'd be amazed at how much stuff gets caught in there. Okay, now it's time to put the new blade on. I get them in sets of 10, so you can see I had 10 written on this. I am down to eight. I like to know how many because they stick together. So you're gonna go in here. I put them all onto my hand and I just slide them like that. And I make sure I only have one blade. Now, it's really easy to get two. You'll kinda know, you'll notice things aren't cutting right, but I'm pretty confident that's only one. I'm gonna place it right on top, just like that. Lay my cutter right on top and clip it. And you're good to go. That's the easy one to change. So I'm going to do that with this one. This blade I'm going to put into my paper cutter one. So I'm always transferring blades all over the place. So let's do this and I'll speed this up for you. Oh, look at that. Ugh. 
Okay, so I'm done with the new blades here. I'm gonna put them back, at least the big, bigger ones. But before I do that, I'm gonna cross off this eight and write six. And put that back in. This is the blade from my last, I think it was this one, my last one that I just changed in quick time there. This I'm going to put into my paper rotary cutters. I like to use the duller blades for that because of course it dulls the blade anyway. What you're going to do is put your finger right here on this black middle. Be careful again of that blade and you're going to just unscrew this nut and what I do is I flip it over so when I put it back on I'm going to flip it back. Then I'm going to take this off. Now you want it so the curved part is facing inward okay so that curve is in towards your rotary cutter when i take it off i flip it over and that way it's a reminder of how to put it back on you can see all the dust that's in this one already so then you just drop that out and look it you can clean all the components i love that that's the best thing about these old ones and i'm just going to clean it out i can get in there i can get on all sides Okay, so this particular one is pretty worn out. I've been using it on paper a lot, so I'm going to put it right into our old used ones. I just use the tip of this to get it in there. Put this back, and then I'm going to clean this off, and we are ready for a blade. I'm going to take this blade, put it right on top of this disc, lay this on top of that and then I will hold this and close it so it's nice and secure so I'm not going to accidentally bump it. I'm going to take my crooked disc here or washer or whatever the heck it is and I'm going to lay it so it is the concave, the curved part, Let's see if I can show you, is curved up. See how that has the curve is up and then I'm going to take my nut Put it on. I'm holding my finger on this black thing and just screw it on finger tight. You'll know it'll lock in like it'll tighten to its full capacity and you are done. Now if you put that disc or washer on upside down you'll know it'll get kind of weird. So I'm going to go ahead and do this mini. It's the same thing. There I'll change for another month. Maybe sooner if I get a nick or something, but usually they last me about a month. The only thing I didn't change was this one, and um, I will just put a note in this box. Actually, I already put the note in this box that I didn't change that blade saver. And that's just a note to the future saying uh, what exactly I did. That way I know, and that lives right inside this box. I hope this video helped you get over the intimidation of changing these blades or even just give you some tips on storing them and getting rid of the old blades and all of that wonderful stuff. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help. Also check out my website. I do have some pictures so it can help you with changing your blades. I hope you have a great day. I hope you take some time to sew and I'll see you real soon. Bye.